All right, hello. Uh, my name is Stephen Keating, and it, this is August 18th, uh, around 6 p.m., and I'm making this note as a record to myself uh, and my family and friends and anyone else that's interested, as tomorrow I'm going in for a brain surgery. I mean, I don't necessarily know, know that I'm not a typical patient. I think everyone's trying to do what they can to stay alive. The part that I was very interested in was trying to collect as much data as I could to make the best decision possible. Patients don't always have access to the medical information that they need to really join the conversation. How come as a patient we're last in line to our own data? How come my doctors and my university researchers can see my tumor genome and I can't? Why are there so many barriers for, for getting access to my own data? The law gives them that access, but we've made it as difficult as humanly possible for them to get that. We don't all have the same tools. It's not the same outside of my health system. It's not the same throughout the state. It's not the same throughout the country. There is no one open electronic medical record system that everyone knows. And we think full transparency is the platform for better care. And there's no reason why it can't be a two-way street like that. You should be able to not just receive data from the hospital, you should be able to provide it. I was like, I, I just want to open source my quantified self and share whatever I have to offer to hopefully get to something greater that could help people diagnose one day how to get the healthcare system to acknowledge that benefit and somehow help elevate and, and empower patients to be open about it is going to be a challenge and I don't, I don't know how we're going to solve for that. You know, we need to have a better system to do that. Instead of me having to create my own website and put all that data there, there needs to be a more standard way. No one really sees the problems involved with getting access to your own data until you're in the hot seat. 